Cue the music. Our Small Town Live series continues this summer, and our first stop this week is the city of Mount Vernon. Let's check back in with Isaac Ramirez. Isaac, what you up to down there? <laughs> <coughs> Tyler, I am hanging out right now on the square here in downtown Mount Vernon. It's a hot day, but here under the trees in the shade and with this breeze, it actually feels nice as I'm taking in the historic beauty here in Mount Vernon. And joining us right now are the mayor and the city manager of Mount Vernon. And my first question is really simple, Mayor. What makes Mount Vernon so magnificent? Well, I think first I'll just say it's the coolest little town in Texas, but um, you know, it's, it's the people. Period. I mean, it's my hometown. I, I, I can remember so many families I've grown up with here that still today are like family and always will be. You know, people move here and we adopt them right in. It's just a great place to live, great place to raise a family. Um, it's a youthful, vibrant community. It's growing. Uh, but it's just, uh, it's just the, the quality of life is incredible here. And Mayor, you're also a business owner. It also seems like it's a good spot for businesses to come to Mount Vernon. Tell me about that. Well, for, first of all, if you like to eat, which obviously I do, and a lot of us, we've got wonderful restaurants here. There's a great diversity of places to eat. So if you want a road trip to Mount Vernon for the day or the night, we'll feed you well when you get here. We've got great museums. A lot of people don't uh, remember, it goes back a ways, but uh, Don Meredith is from here. So, you know, the Dallas Cowboys first quarterback was from Mount Vernon. And we've got a really cool museum that's got a lot of his memorabilia in it. And it's, Weed and boys. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> a couple of Cowboy fans we, here. We got to throw that in there, Mayor, Cowboy as fans. well. <laughs> it's 20, around 2,500 people. 2,800, 2,700. 20, okay, yeah. so, so it's grown since the last census. Uh, more of those people are younger people. Now, you were telling me about the changing demographics. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's right, Isaac. We just recently completed a uh, master plan study and looked at the demographics. And the highest percentage of uh, inhabitants in Mount Vernon are the 31 to 40 year olds. So, and I think one of the biggest drivers that we have with that is we have an incredibly great school system. We're seeing a lot of folks from the Metroplex move out here because they want a simpler life with a lot of neat amenities. Like the mayor said, we got great places to eat. We got a lot of stuff to do. We have great parks. We're working on enhancing our parks. We're working on enhancing this downtown plaza. We've got these historic uh, features around here. I've always said that Mount Vernon, if you're looking to be on the set of a Hallmark movie, come to Mount Vernon, Texas, because that's what you're going to get pretty awesome. Yep. And same question for you, Mayor. I mean, this is your hometown. Why should people choose Mount Vernon? That's a hard question. I think I may have already said that in a, in a number of ways. What's, what's, is, what, what, what is it for you that does it, that seals the deal? I don't know. It's just the, the happiest place on earth for me. I mean, I just, every time I travel with work, I can't wait to get home. I just feel good being here. The county, you know, with the county seat of Franklin County, Got the pretty slake in the state in Lake Cypress Springs. There's just so many things, but it really is just the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, every day I get up and, and uh, we come downtown, I look forward to seeing the folks I see daily, but I look forward to seeing our guests that are coming here, enjoying to see the, you know, the atmosphere and the culture that we've created here. It's second to none, mm -hmm. but it really is all about the people with, I guess, at the end of the day. All right. Well, thank you so much. I know you all have some events. Here. Real quick, where can people find information on those events? Events, look at our website, look at our Main Street uh, page. Uh, big events coming up second weekend in October is our Country Fest event. Next big event coming up after that is going to be our uh, Spring Into Downtown event the second week in April. And those uh, attract about four or 5,000 people. Great fun. It sounds like it. Thank you so much, guys, for welcoming me to Mount Vernon. I had a good time, Mayor. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you all here. so much. Uh, great place to visit. And it's been a little warm here, but not too terrible, especially here in the shade. So I'm going to send it back to you guys. I know you all are about to talk about the weather. Where we are starting to feel that heat finally coming back to East Texas. Isaac, thank you. Looks like a good place to go. Got to take a trip mm -hmm. down there one of these days. Yes, definitely. And the mayor yeah. said it's the coolest little town, um, but cool, I guess, uh, different phrasing there. Mm -hmm. Definitely, he wasn't talking about the temperatures because we're all feeling the heat this week. Well, and is there a mountain in Mount Vernon or Mount Enterprise or Mount Pleasant? <laughs> We'll have to look Mount at the um, elevation levels, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Do you have access to that information over there in the I Weather do. Center? I do. Well, then there we yeah. go. I can confirm nor deny that. But again, I mean, Mount Vernon, in all seriousness, <laughs> looks like a beautiful community mm -hmm. and lots of great things and lots of great folks out there as well. And